chasing a, a comfortable afternoon in the end um, and it was a game that we always really felt in charge of yeah um, I thought we started the game well you know I thought we looked a threat real threat um, it's a tough place to come you know they're, they're, they're a side that very very strong at home um, and we, we ground it out you know it was a, it was a professional performance today I don't think we're great um, with the ball I thought we, we looked really solid Goldie's not had a save to make um, it was a sending off I mean the fans have have tried to get out with lads sent off every, every, every decision um, but I thought the ref was excellent today on the day and that's not just because we, we had 11 and they had 10 but it's, 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 he's led with his arm and, he, and, he, and he's caught him um, if we've been a little bit pedantic we could have had a penalty you know if Rob's been a bit if, if, he's, if he hadn't stayed on his feet we should have had a penalty but like I say I think the second half I said at half time you know the next chance we get we've got to take because we had quite a few chances in the first half where we've hit the keeper we haven't made him work hard enough um, and the second half, the second goal was brilliant. I mean, Ben McKenna's put two two great balls in, and, and Glenn's oh, oh, he's unplayable at the moment. He's, he, he looks as though he's going to score all the time, and he should have he should have probably got his third because when he's in them areas, you, you're just waiting for the the, the net to bustle. But like you said, it was a real professional performance. Um, I think we worked we, we did better without the ball than with the ball the second half. But like you said, it's it's a clean sheet, and I thought the defenders were excellent. You know. I, I, I know you say that they had 10 men, but they had a, they had a day with balls in the box and they were first every ball in there and, and, we, and we didn't look like we were going to concede, which was great. And we spoke last week at Ashton about scoring at key times. We scored right at the end of the first half last week and right at the start of the second half. And once again, straight after half time, the game's at 1-0. Any chance for Ketron to get back in the game is kind of extinguished with that goal from Glenn two minutes into the second half. Yeah, which is exactly what we said. You know, we had, we had opportunities in the first half to finish the game um, and we snatched at them. And we said that. We said, you know, you've next chance you because invariably every football match there's always a, ch a team that gets a chance and, and luckily today they didn't they got in good areas um, but, but their final ball probably wasn't as great good as it should have been but I thought like you said that the, the second goal was brilliant Glenn's volleyed it brilliantly in the, bo in, in the back of the net and it, and it sort of I don't know whether it sort of it makes you relax on the ball and I think we, we, you know, we, we, we were very very comfortable second half without, without playing anywhere near our best and since return from injury obviously Glenn's in great form at the minute it's on nine goals in these past four games so I'm sure with everybody else when Glenn goes down a gatehead and gets that obviously ankle injury you worry but he's come back and he's been absolutely fantastic ever since yeah he has and so you know fair play at the ones who, who were in there when he was when he was injured because you know, they, they were part of the, the run that we had um, you know we're, we're in a good rich vein of form at the moment you know football's Football's a funny game, you know, you're the worst manager, the worst team in the world in the first month and now you're the best team, the best manager, it's not, it's not about that, it's about over the season, um, we know we've got a lot of work to do, you know, there's some top teams in this league, it's, it's, it's a hard league and you've got to grind out every result and like I say, today was, was, was a game where we've ground out three points and um, it was much needed because we go into a cup game next week and, it, and it's an opportunity where, you know, we've got a, got a great chance of getting into first round proper against a top side with a great manager. Um, and when you've got two weeks to wait, it's important that you you take take advantage of your league games, and we've done that. Um, you know, we've drew, probably drawn too many games. What I think we should have won, but today, like I said, it was a polished performance, professional performance, and, and like I said, delighted delighted with a clean sheet. And just a quick one on the the Charlie FA Cup tie. When we were drawn away at Charlie, obviously memories immediately come back to the playoff final. What you what was your kind of first thought? Well, it's written on the tin, isn't it? You know what I mean. It's um, it, they're a strong side. I know they're not. They haven't started that well, but you know we know the players that they've got. We know the manager. Um, but I think um, Jamie will expect us to go there and work work our socks off, which we will. Um, it'll be a tough game. With no doubt about that. It'll be a tough game. They're a conference side, um, but we go there full of hope, full of full of belief. And like you say, we're on a, we're on a good rich vein of form, um, and the players that we've got can hurt any team.